Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Games TV. How you doing today? In the last episode, we built our enchantment room just above our spawner. And here's another spawner. So I said, let's build a uh, brewing area because uh, this is where we'll be spending some of our time. So what we're going to zip on do da <laughs> We're gonna kill these guys to shut them off. Yeah, that's it. You heard it. Uh, so we shut those dudes up. Uh, we're going to just get rid of some of this stuff. And then we are going to zip in to the nether. Oh, gosh. Look at that pumpkin head. Oh, yeah, because it's Halloween. Ha ha ha. Nice. Today is Halloween. I'm so glad I'm shooting this actually on Halloween. Look at all the pumpkins heads we got. Pumpkins heads we got. We got lots of pumpkins heads. Uh, okay, let's get rid of uh, this. Uh, I don't think I want to have glass panes when I go into the nether. We'll put that away. Keep things. I have a cobblestone place downstairs, but I don't need it right now. Why do I have a crafting table on me? I need wood, though, just in case. Oh, there's wood. And, of course, I have too many rotten flesh. And I didn't need that either. So let's get rid of that, too. Um, we're almost out of pickaxe. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to zip into the nether. We have 29 levels, guys. How close is that, eh? Let's just see if we can get 30. Let's enchant one more thing. There we go, buddy. Um, there also seems to be some confusion uh, as to... Let me, I think I should just do another chest plate. Oh, let's do that. Oh, it's right here. Uh, yep, see, I knew it. Where's your uh, pumpkin head, dude? Oh, there it is. Nice. Nice. Any more pumpkin heads? Like I said, we gotta put doors around here somewhere. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah, we're going to make a new chest plate. Let's see if we can get an awesome enchantment on that, and hopefully get fire protection on it. I also was thinking, oh, we should get uh, fire protection uh, potions, and it's like, well, I don't have any blaze rods because we need blaze powder. Uh, let's t let's let's try out our new uh, enchantment table. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is kind of in the way. I think I'm going to move it back a bit. I just realized I didn't like it there very much. I'm going to go back it up to here. Anyway, so uh, there seems to be some confusion. Some of you don't know that you only need 15 bookshelves like this to uh, make your enchantment table work to its fullest. It used to be 30. So you'd have to build this row and then another row on top, and that would give you up to 50 levels. And then they dropped it to 30, and then figured, well, you only need 15 uh, bookshelves now. So, as you can see, when I put that in there, I'm getting 30 right up to the very top. I'm going to take the first enchantment, Fire Protection 3. Do I have Fire Protection 3 on here? I just have Protection 4, and I'm not sure if that does the same. We'll just use Fire Protection, just because of where we're going. I know Protection protects you, but anyway, so I'm going to put uh, this one off. This one on. Brand new chest plate. That's a good thing. Uh, I don't think I have anything on me else. Okay. So, let's go zippity doo -dah over here. Uh, just to show you. I don't, I'm pretty sure I don't have any more um, blaze rod. I think I used them all up. Um, oh, look what I have, though. I got some magma slime or cream. Uh, that means we can make some potions while we are here. Um, we got the splash potions. We got that. One, two, three. One. So let's do that first. Let's make our fire potion. We'll go for the middle one here. So put our water in there, our nether wart, that'll make our awkward potion, and then we'll add a magma cream, or yeah, magma cream, and then we have to add a redstone 
to make it like an eight minute potion. Yes, I remember where I put my gold. And then we're off to the nether, ladies and gentlemen. That'll be rocking. Guess I can put that. I'm so glad I looked in this chest. Totally forgot I had that. I'll be even more protected. So this is Aqua Potion, and it should turn into Fire Resistance three minutes. Come on. Come on. So there you go, Fire Resistance, uh, three minutes. Put that in there. It'll jump it up to eight minutes, which is perfect. We'll go in. I'm trying to remember how to get to the... Okay, I remember now. I had to go across that huge bridge because we come into the nether from the ceiling. We have to make our way down. So we'll grab our fire resistance. We'll take all of it too. And I'll drink it just before we go in. Hey guys. Bye guys. Oh god. I'm like, that guy has a mesh helmet over top of his... Oh my. What the... Dude, dude. I'm like, what? I looked like a creeper for a second. That was the weirdest thing ever. Okay, so we're gonna drink this potion. Uh, just in case we fall into lava. We'll keep our eye on it, eight minutes. Um, yeah, it was down here. Come on, buddy. You can do it. No, it looks like I put lots of torches down to remind me how to get there. la -dee da Run for your luck. Um, what did I do? I went past something here. Right. My staircase, how about that? Hey, boys. How you doing? We are going to the fortress of the nether region. <laughs> eh, that's funny. And then we are going to get a whole bunch of blaze rods since we have fire protection. We have no fear. I think it's down here. Ouch. I have no fear, Mr. Blaze. I guess my only fear will be the fact that you will... Um, I didn't want to hit him into the wrong spot. And of course, I don't want to hit a pig man. The pig man always try to get in the way, don't they? I want, I want to hit that blaze, but he, I'll just hit him so far away from me, and then I won't be able to get his blaze rod, blaze rod anyway. So let's just go in here real quick, like. One of the things I was going to make up here was a uh, a trap by putting lots of uh, rock around because these guys start to float up and I might lose a bunch of my about five minutes well six minutes it was 554 come on buddy look at us we're not scared but they, see they I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna get any blaze rod I just know it Come on. I'm standing right here, dude. There we go. We got one. This is going to take a while. I need a looting sword. Dang nabbit. Uh, it doesn't hurt me, dude. Watch this. Come on. Where are you guys? Come on. Oh, my hunger's way down. I'll eat in a second. Come on. Give me those blaze rods. I'm getting fed up with the whole fact that I can't... Oh, I need to trap them. Um, is 
this a way to get some stuff? I think there's another trap. I mean, another thingy up here. No, but well, there's a dude up here. Hey, dude. Um, what I'm trying to do, ladies and gentlemen, is we have to make a wall so the guys can't just float away. And I really want to use. Uh, you know what I shouldn't use is that. I've got stone on me. What are you doing? Uh, let's put that there. Uh, we'll put that there. And we'll make a bit of a trap so they can't just float up and away. This is a good time to do it. Let's check our resistance timing. Three minutes to build a trap. Nice. Oh, did you see that? Trying to push me off, eh? Trying to push me off, eh? What? Is that me? I think it's me. I think it's myself. Dude! I'm trying to hit the frickin' sword, and it just ain't happening. Um, let's just go downstairs for a second. Let's try and eat something. Dude. Dude. There you go. Good boy. I dropped two hearts. I just realized my sword is really low too. And I noticed also that it looked like there was a ghast close by. Stop double tapping, dude. This way, hopefully, they don't escape. laggy or something because it's not working out right. So you know how they're not, they can't escape now? I've got three. Gotta kill these guys off. Because no more guys will form while these guys are around. <laughs> Look at him. He's like up and down, up and down. Look, there's got enough, enough guys in here. Keep your eye on your health. Keep your eye on your health. Keep your eye on your health. After all that, I only got four. I got a minute left. Five, six, there we go, starting to block it in a bit more, as long as they can't escape we're good, uh, I'm going to drink my other potion. Just to make sure, we're back up to eight minutes. Okay. Look at that, nice. Eight's a good number, so far. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, boys. Oh, what hits me? This must be new, because they never used to be able to hit you before. I don't think. Just trying to build it. Definitely need a looting sword. 
This will stop them from... This is not very pretty at all. I should be able to still get out, shouldn't I? Yeah. Oh, you can't get out now, dudes. You are trapped like a rat in a trap. You still only have eight. I'm afraid to knock one of these out to put a thing on there. I guess if I did this. I don't have to do that. I just want to do this just in case they've figured a way. Uh oh. Die! We got nine. That's a good number. Whoops. Ho 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 ho. Little tricky man. Oh, there's one. It's hiding. Give me your blaze rods. Blaze rods for sale. That's a nice number. Just building it in, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Nothing can escape me now. Got a few XP points, too. Let's feed. Let's check our five minutes. Good. Thirteen. Looks like we could build like uh, five uh, brewing stands and then get a whole bunch of blaze powder to make even more fire resistance. This doesn't uh, affect their spawning at all, I believe. Because why would a torch of fire affect anything? Come on. People are loving this. Trip into the nether with Ken. Look at my chest plate. It's perfect still. Well, it's down to green at least. Come on. What's affecting our rate right now is the fact that it's... There's other guys around. So 16. I was kind of hoping to get 20. Look at that, eh? Oh! Tricky little... I don't have any more bows. I mean arrows. So something hits me now. Before nothing hit me before. Before nothing hit me before. Okay, we're up to 17. Come on, dude. I came in another... No arrows. Nice. Come on. Come on. The ladies and gentlemen would like to see... I, could just, I guess we just should just go back. Because we've got enough to build what we need to build. So let's go back. Definitely we'll come back with more arrows next time. Yeah, man. Success. Well, I guess we're not out of the woods yet. As they say. I've got two minutes to get out of here. I've got another potion just in case. So we'll hippity hoppity out of here. Um, this is my staircase, I believe. And I usually get confused at a certain point in this area. And that's it right there. See? I'm supposed to go down here. Right there, ladies and gentlemen. You guys get this map in another nine episodes. Holy schmoly. That's going to be cool for you. And I'm still debating whether or not to continue this series or just leave it at 50. That would be kind of cool. And then you guys can just carry on. Carry on the tradition of 
Hardcore. The movie. I'm trying to run, guys. I'm trying to run. I guess if I put steps here, that would help, eh? And here we go. We are off. All right, guys. So that is the show for today. In the next episode, we'll actually build and complete our brewing area. I'll move that too. All right. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, rate, and thanks for joining me into the nether. Happy Halloween, says the zombie with the helmet. Woo! There you go. Look at those helmet Halloween trick-or-treaters. <laughs> Beat down the trick-or-treaters with a big sword. That's what I should do. Run outside with a with a diamond sword and scare all the little kitties. <laughs> anyway, guys, have a great Halloween, and we will talk to you, I guess, on episode 141. No, sorry, 141. On episode 1. Sorry, one more time. I'll try it one more time. Episode 41, which will be next Tuesday. Have a great weekend, and like I said, have a great Halloween. Bye.